Various Blocks in Scratch Scratch is a software that can be used to create various games. It simplifies the concept of game creation for young students. The latest version of Scratch is Scratch 3.0. There are many other versions of Scratch. Scratch Components Title Bar Menu Bar Stage Area Sprite Go Button Stop Button Sprites Info Pane Block Menu Script Backdrop Tabs Block Categories Scratch has various categories for blocks. In these blocks, we can change the value according to the script. Motion, looks, sound, events, control, sensing, operators, variables, my blocks. Motion blocks. We use motion blocks to control the movement of a sprite. They are blue in color. Some of the commonly used motion blocks are Block makes the sprite move forward in the direction of its face. We can mention the number of steps in the text box given in the block and the sprite will take that number of steps. We can use the same block to make the sprite move backward if we mention the number of steps with a minus dash sign. Block makes the sprite move in clockwise direction according to the specified degrees. Block makes the sprite move in the anticlockwise direction according to the specified degrees. Block makes the sprite jump from one position to another on the stage. We can specify the position in the X and Y text boxes. Makes the sprite follow the mouse pointer or a random position. Block makes the sprite bounce over if it is at the edge of the screen. Block sets the rotation style of the sprite. We make the sprite rotate from left to right, all around or no rotation at all. Looks blocks. The blocks that are used to add speech and thought bubbles to the sprite are called looks block. They are purple in color. Block adds a speech bubble to the sprite till the mentioned time, in seconds. With the block, there is an addition of a speech bubble next to the sprite. We can add any specific text in the bubble, and it will continue to be displayed until we add the next speech or thought block or stop running the program. By using block we can add a thought bubble to the sprite till the mentioned time, in seconds. With the block we can add a thought bubble next to the sprite. We can add any text and it will continue to be displayed until we add the next speech thought block or stop running the program. And blocks can display or hide the sprite on the stage. By using block, we can change the sprite according to the selected effect. There are seven such effects, color, fisheye, whirl, Pixlete, Mosaic, Brightness, and Ghost. Block can reset or remove all the graphic effects that were applied on the sprite. They will be reset to their default value, which is zero. Sound blocks. We can manage the sound functions by using the sound blocks. These are magenta in color. By adding block, we can play the sound continuously without pausing the script. The sound options are meow or recorded sound. By adding block, we can play the sound and it will continue till it's finished even after we pause the script. We can use a meow or any recorded sound for this block as well. Block will stop playing any of the sounds that we apply to the sprites. Removes all the existing sound effects from Sprite. Events block. This is the topmost block. It helps to run the script on the stage as it controls the starting of the scripts.
It gives you the control of all the blocks because without an event block, no program will run. Block plays the script when the green flag or go button is clicked. Block plays the script when the specified key is pressed. We choose a specific key or we can choose the any option. Block plays the script when the sprite is clicked. Control block When we want to repeat the same block in a script for some time, we use the looping blocks found in control blocks. Block delays the running of the script for the number of seconds mentioned in the block. We use this block so that the actions of two blocks do not overlap. Block repeats the blocks that are included in it for the number of times it is mentioned in the repeat block. Example, the repeat block will repeat the given sound block 10 times. Block will keep repeating the included blocks endlessly till the stop button is clicked. Setting the sprite position There are different values for X and Y for different parts of the stage. Each dot on the stage represents both X and Y values. The horizontal, left to right, location of the sprite is given by the value of X. The vertical, top to bottom, location of the sprite is given by the value of Y. At the center of the stage both X and Y values are equal to zero. Block lets us fix the position of the sprite on the stage. This block is very helpful when sometimes the sprite goes off stage due to a script. We can bring it back on stage by setting its position. Creating programs in Scratch Create the following scripts in Scratch and observe the output.